News Talk 760 WJR presents New Voices and Visions. Now, here's Jamie McCarthy. Jamie McCarthy here on WJR.com. Introducing a brand new show. Very proud to be here at the Music Hall Jazz Cafe. The name of the show, New Voices and Visions here in Detroit. What we're focusing on? Divas. Detroit Divas. First up, Alyssa Simmons. You were nine years old when you started Yeah, that's when I started singing and getting out there and performing. (laughs) And uh, do you consider yourself uh, first a vocalist or a singer-songwriter? First, I was a vocalist. I mean, I started singing like Disney songs, you know, and school talent shows and all that fun stuff. But, you know, eventually, I think I was like 12 when I started really writing and getting into that. So, 12 years old when you wrote your first, first song? Yeah, I think. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the name of that song? Actually, yeah, it was called Pot of Gold. And I actually have it recorded. At really? home, yeah. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> Isn't it funny how we look back as, as musicians and, and, and we develop? What uh, what would you say your, your, your main few influences are? Oh, man. <laughs> I have so many. You know, going back to, like, soul, and uh, I'm really big into Aretha Franklin, Stevie Wonder. Uh, You've done Aretha Franklin cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We actually cover Dr. Feelgood. By Molly Crew. <laughs> no, that's what everyone says. Is that I the Molly Crew like, version? You were back. Now, now we're back into eighties rock. What you're talking about? Yeah, it's a Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a good. Okay. I love that song. I love Molly Crew too. <laughs> Your dad should never let you watch anything that Tommy Lee's ever done in his life. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but um, I'm really into Led Zeppelin, of course. You've got great taste in music. Yeah, like all the classic rock stuff. I noticed that when I was on the. Uh, on the well, web, YouTube, I, I saw, and your website, I saw a, a brilliant cover of an a old Led Zeppelin song called Whole Lot of Love, um, and a Kiss cover. Um, yeah, Kiss that. is my favorite band. Kiss is your favorite <laughs> yeah, band? Yeah, of all time. I don't know. I mean, my parents took me to their concert when I was really young, and I just fell in love. And, like, there's nothing like a Kiss concert. <laughs> there is nothing like a Kiss no, concert. No, there's not. You talk about your parents. Um, your father, who's with us today, um, he plays a big role in, in your musical career. How does that how's that work? He's just, both of my parents are so supportive. I mean, without them, I definitely would not be, got the opportunities that I've had, you know. Does your, is your dad a musician? Yeah, he was a drummer. He actually was in a cover band he back in the day. He was a drummer, that means he's he not allowed to play anymore. <laughs> he doesn't play much anymore, but yeah, I used to be at all their gigs and in the basement when they were practicing, being that like annoying child, (laughs) (laughs) running around, you know, singing and... Playing tambourine. Yeah. You have a new EP that is out, Mm -hmm. titled I'm Ready. Yep. Uh, Tell me about being I'm Ready. Is that that sort of your uh, introduction to the world? Yeah, it's sort of like an anthem song that I wrote just saying that, you know, I'm ready for everything that's going to be thrown at me. Well, I feel ready. I feel like I'm ready. You are our first diva of, of the series. And, I'm honored. Uh, yes, yeah, I am too. And so we are going to be performing here, and you're going to be performing Stargazers uh, with a couple of your bandmates. One, um, Steve Toko, I know will be playing the percussion, and he has like a baby rattle hooked to his ankle. <laughs> yeah. He's the only Italian guy in Detroit I know that walks around with a, with a rattle on his ankle to make to, to make percussive sounds. And, yeah. And your piano player. You mm-hmm. Mark Duarte. Mark Mark Duiron, who's very good. He was yeah, rehearsing incredible. Earlier. Well, let's let's have a little song and then we'll be back to chat. Sounds good. Thank you.
particular process for, for songwriting, or, or is it all uh, different all the time? You know, it, yeah, it kind of uh, varies. Sometimes it's like just me sitting at the piano and playing chords, and then the lyrics come after that. Or, I mean, a lot of the times I'm driving in my car and just like the ideas pop in your head. And then you have your, you know, the phone voice recorder things, you know, so I have like a ton of ideas on my phone, so that's embarrassing too. One time it went off in the store and I'm just like singing. This. You should have just turned around and told everybody, <laughs> you, you know, you'll be able to buy this soon on iTunes, my name is Alyssa Simmons, and I, I know you work behind the counter here at CBS, but um, hear this, this is going to be a, a number one hit in, in just six weeks. Now. Yeah. How many, how many tracks are on the, on the... Right now, I think there's only like five. Five, yeah. So it's still in the process of, of being... Well, I mean, I have a ton of songs in a notebook just like waiting, you know, pe for people to hear and just uh, waiting to get back into the studio again. I'm if, totally ready. <laughs> if there's a place right now that I could go and, and, and download, is there a place where we can download digitally Alyssa Simmons? Well, music? you know, not that the CD is not on iTunes yet, but it will be soon. And then you can go to my website, it's alyssasimmons.com, and then that has, uh, you can order the CD there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sure. Fantastic song, by the way. Thank you. <laughs>